Hello, everybody. Today we are looking at 3-2, which is angles formed by parallel lines and transversals. So the first thing that we're going to look at is in 3-1, we talked about when we had two lines cut by a transversal, we looked at our four angle pairs. We looked at corresponding angles, um, same side interior angles, alternate interior angles, and alternate exterior angles. And today we're going to look and see with what happens when instead of just random two lines cut by a transversal, when those two lines are actually parallel. What do we know about those angle measures? So let's take a look here. We have angles one and three are corresponding, two and four are corresponding, five and seven are corresponding, and six and eight are corresponding. If you look over here, you will see that your corresponding angles are congruent, okay? So corresponding angles, they are congruent. Then we look at our other pairs of angles, our alternate interior angles. Okay, so angles one and three and angles two and four, those are also congruent. Our alternate exteriors, five and seven and six and eight, those are going to be congruent as well. The next set that we're going to look at is our same side interiors. These are going to be supplementary. Now, most of the time I will tell you to never do this, but what I want you guys to do is when your lines are parallel, again, remember that these little red arrows mean that our lines are parallel, which means they're never going to intersect, okay? I want you to look at your angles. If you look up here at our alternate interiors, angle one is acute, angle three is acute, okay? Two acute angles are never going to add to 180, so I know that they are equal to each other. Or if I look at two and four, Two and four are both obtuse. They're never going to add to 180 because they're more than 90. So you can kind of use the picture in this case to help guide you with whether or not they're going to be congruent or they are going to be supplementary and therefore add to 180. All right. So again, most of the time I will never tell you to look at the picture and go by what it looks like. But with this one, you're given the theorems, go by the picture, do what it looks like. Okay. If your angles are both acute, set them equal. If you have one angle that's acute and one angle that's obtuse, like we do here with one and four, they are going to add to 180. Okay. So let's take a look at using this. All right. When I have a here, I want to look and find the measure of angle ABC. So angle ABC is this angle right here. So what I want to know is what is its going to relationship going to be with this angle here that is 80 degrees, okay? These two angles are corresponding angles, so they are congruent. So they are equal to each other, so x is equal to 80. So that means that the measure of angle ABC is 80 degrees because, again, these are equal. They are congruent. Same thing here. If I look at angle DEF, is this is right here, is this is the one that I'm looking for. I'm given information for this angle right here. Again, we have corresponding angles, so they are congruent, so we are going to set them equal to each other. So I'm going to do 2x minus 45 is equal to x plus 30. All right, from here, I'm going to subtract an x from both sides. I'm going to get x minus 45 is equal to 30. Then I'm going to add 45 to both sides, and I'm going to get x is equal to 75. Again, please go back and look at your question. Okay, I want the measure of angle DEF. So the measure of angle DEF is X plus 30. Well, we just said that X was 75. So it's going to be 75 plus 30. So the measure of angle DEF is 105 degrees. Okay, so if you have any questions, Go ahead and write those down on your note-taking guide now. Okay, we're going to continue doing the same thing here. We're finding our angle measures. So what I'm going to look at here is I'm looking for the measure of angle EDF, which is this angle here. Okay, now the other angle measure that I'm given is this angle measure right here. Okay, these are both on the outside of my line, on opposite sides of my transversal, so they're alternate exterior angles, which are congruent. If you look, they both look obtuse. 
So that means that x is equal to 125. So that means that the measure of angle EDF is 125 degrees. All right, next we're looking at the measure of angle TUS, which is this angle here. Okay, we are also given this angle over here. These two angles are same side interior angles and they are supplementary. If you look, this one is acute, this one is obtuse. They cannot be equal. So that means I'm going to take 13x plus 23x and set that equal to 180 degrees. Okay, so from here, I'm going to combine like terms. So 13x plus 23x is 36x and that's going to equal 180 degrees. Then I'm going to divide both sides by 36 and I'm going to get that x is equal to 5. So now I want to know the measure of angle TUS which was 23x. So that means it's going to be 23 times 5. So the measure of angle TUS is going to be 115 degrees. Now, I'm not asked for it, but you can always double check by finding this angle measure as well by doing 13 times 5, which is going to be 65 degrees. So this is 65, this is 113, okay? Now, or excuse me, not 113, 115. These two do add to 180, so we have done this correctly, okay? Go ahead and try these on your own. Um, it's a little hard to see, but this is this angle here, and this one is this angle here, okay? So go ahead, take a minute, pause your video, and work through these three problems, please, and then unpause it, and we will go over the answers. So go ahead and pause your video now. Okay, so go ahead and check all of your answers here, please. Um, you may need to pause the video if you got anything wrong, so that way you can check and see exactly where in your steps that you went wrong. If we look at A, should notice that these two angles here are alternate interior angles, so they are congruent, so we set our expressions equal. In B, I have corresponding angles. Corresponding angles are also congruent, so again, we set them equal. In C, I have same side interior angles, so they are supplementary, so we set them and we add them up and set them equal to 180, okay? Um, I wanna show you guys something really quickly. Um, I'm gonna kinda change colors and make it a little crazy big, but all right. So when we plugged in here, we found that the measure of angle BEF, which is this angle here, was 63 degrees, okay? Let's just take a look. If you know one angle when you have parallel lines, okay, then you know all the other seven because this is corresponding, which is also 63 because we just set them equal. Well, then these two angles here are vertical angles, so this is also 63. These are vertical angles, so this is 63, okay? Then we look and see here, I know that these two are same side interior, so they add to 180, so this is 117. This is vertical to that. This is 117, so is this and this. So if you want one angle when your lines are parallel, you can find the other seven. So I just kind of wanted to hit that point with you guys real quick. All right, one of the important things that I want you to take away from this is not only um, which pairs of angles are congruent and which pairs are supplementary, but realizing, and I'm gonna jump back here for just a second, just you don't have to go back, just listen, um, is that when we look at our theorems and the way that our theorems are worded is we start by saying that if we have parallel lines, okay, that's the key here is that we are given that those lines are parallel um, because I want you aware of this because when we do section 3.3, 3, 
we're going to take this and look at all the converses where we flip it, where we say, okay, if these pairs of angles are congruent, what do I know about my lines? Okay, so it's going to be important that you are starting to understand the difference between the converse and the theorem. So we are given parallel lines today. Everything that you're going to see, you are given parallel lines, and that is our theorem. Um, if you have questions on anything, please go ahead and write them down and make sure that you ask them in class. And I will see you guys uh, tomorrow. Have a wonderful evening.